sweet friends welcome back and welcome if you're new today we are going to talk about laundry routines tips and tricks that i've learned and how my laundry experience has drastically changed from early on in my marriage to today as a mom of three. So if you're looking for laundry motivation, if you're looking to freshen up your laundry routine, or maybe you just wanna come and take a look at my laundry room today for some ideas and inspiration on how I have it decorated and organized, be sure to keep on watching. So I am a big proponent of routines, laundry routines specifically, and we will get into that later on in the video. But as great as routines are, it really is habits that transform your life and transform the way that you do laundry. Every single evening, I make dinner and we clean up dinner and kind of tidy the kitchen. We try to do it as a family. That is just something that's ingrained in our day-to-day -day life. That is an automatic habit. When I am done with my evening kitchen tidy, I automatically go upstairs and grab tomorrow's laundry. Put it in the washing machine, put the detergent in, and leave it for the night. And that way, tomorrow's laundry is already ready to go, and that has really helped. It's helped a lot. I have a lot more motivation to quickly grab a load of laundry around seven o'clock at night than I do at six o'clock in the morning. And so I find that that works well. And then the second habit in the morning um, is while my coffee is brewing, that is another automatic habit in my life, right? I come downstairs, the first thing that I do, start my coffee. And while that's brewing, I come right into the laundry room. All I have to do is turn the washing machine on because it's loaded and ready to go. And that really ensures that laundry is getting started before the sun comes up which in turn helps me to finish my laundry earlier in the day and it gives me a lot more peace. The next point I wanna make is sort of the heart of today's video and that is before you implement routines or you practice new habits or you get motivated to do your laundry, I encourage you to create a laundry space that brings you joy that's really a sanctuary. No matter what your laundry situation looks like, it can be functional, organized, and still beautiful. Or at least you can still add things that bring you joy while you're doing your laundry. And that brings me to today's video sponsor, Timu. I wanna thank them for partnering with me in today's video. You guys know I love to be thrifty when it comes to home decor and home function. And Timu has become one of my favorite shopping destinations. They are an online marketplace with high quality items with wholesale prices on so many different items like home decor, home organization, kitchen appliances, um, jewelry, clothing, and so much more. They have site-wide savings up to like 90% off. It is incredible. So I'm going to just do a brief Timu haul here for you guys, share what I have specifically in my laundry space. And if you want to shop any of the items, be sure to check out the linked items down in the description below. Okay, so let's dive into this Timu haul. Instead of um, like just showcasing you the items, I'm going to share where I have them, how I have them decorated and used. This first item if you're gonna order anything from Timu, this would be my number one recommendation to you. And it is this mini hamper that I have hanging on the side of my washing machine. And it is collapsible, so you can make it bigger. I typically don't need it to be bigger than this, but you can make it bigger. And there are so many uses for this. It came with adhesive hooks that were so easy to hang. Um, they hang perfectly right on the side of my wash, um, but I use it for wet rags. So cleaning rags, bathroom, um, washcloths, anything that's wet and yucky and isn't getting put in my hampers upstairs, like the clothes that we wear every day. Um, 
gets thrown right in this little hamper. It's perfect. I thought I would share this linen hamper from Timu. I love it for a couple reasons. I love that it's linen and simple. Um, I love that it is collapsible, foldable. I can just store it away um, if I don't want it out. But it also pops out and stands and fits perfectly in this little nook I have next to my washing machine. This pops out just like that. And it is just the perfect linen hamper. I love it. I have been wanting a really nice broom and dustpan set for our main living. It is blue, the handle is blue, and then the broom, I'm gonna turn it over so you can see. <laughs> the broom and dustpan is this pretty slate blue color, and I love that the dustpan stands so you don't have to bend down, and it's got little teeth to clean the bristles of your broom. Um, but this was a great affordable just broom and dustpan set. I've really been enjoying it and you can't beat the price. Next up is a laundry room essential and that is wool dryer balls. You can see here, I picked this pack up from Timu and I love to use them for decorative purposes, but then I also love to just keep a few right here on this little tray, which is also from Timu, um, but I love to just keep it on the tray that I can grab them whenever I am going to dry my clothes, pop them in the dryer, and it cuts down on dry time. It prevents static cling and all of that good stuff. I love to put a little lemon essential oil on or lavender or something of that sort, and it makes your clothes just smell amazing, makes the laundry room smell good, and I got a pack of six from Timu. This botanical set from Timu is beautiful. It comes actually in a set of four. I only used two of them. I'm going to have to find another spot in the house to use the other two. But I loved this for a couple of reasons. A, it is super affordable, which I know I sound like a broken record, but you cannot beat the prices. And then I also loved not only sort of the cottage um, inspired, just very simplistic, beautiful, botanical look and feel of these black and white, white prints. But I also loved the paper that they came on. It's sort of a linen um, finish. It's much thicker than traditional cardstock paper. So you don't have to download and then go to you know another store and worry about printing it off. Just find yourself some inexpensive frames, pop them in and you have some beautiful wall decor. Whenever I have a group of items, whether it be on a tabletop or in this case on top of my dryer, I like to put everything in a tray. It just sort of um, consolidates everything. It makes it look more organized, more put together, and less like I have a bunch of clutter sitting on top of my dryer. I keep my Timu dryer balls on them as well as my detergents. I have a little plant and this wicker basket actually came in a set of three. So there's one smaller than this and then one larger than this. And I'll put the price right here. And it's just a great universal wicker basket. You could use it for a tray on a coffee table, in your kitchen, you can make a little vignette. Um, the laundry room, really, it's great universal storage and works with so many decor styles. So those were all of the items from Timu that were in this little haul. I'll definitely be ordering from them again in the future. I highly encourage you to download their app for just a much smoother, easier, shopping experience. Not only will you get these exclusive discounted prices using the links in my description, but if you download the app and use the code JOIN6226, you'll get an additional 50% off, which is just incredible, but that's only for in-app use. So definitely check out the app, use that discount code for amazing prices on these laundry room items. And thanks again, Timu, for sponsoring today's video. So like I was saying before, if your laundry space is beautiful or it brings a smile to your face, brings you some joy in your day, you're more apt to be motivated to want to be in the space and get some laundry done. <laughs> I know that when this space is tidy, 
and clean and I have a nice candle going. I really enjoy being in here and folding laundry and getting it done in the day to day. Um, but there are some really just simple ways that don't cost a lot of money that you can spruce up your laundry room to just make it a happier place. Maybe it's a cozy little lamp for ambient lighting if you do laundry early in the morning or late at night. Or maybe it's going out in the yard and cutting some fresh flowers and putting them in a vase or even faux flowers. Um, maybe it's finding some inexpensive wicker baskets to put on a shelf to hide some of the unsightly utility items of a laundry room. There are ways that you can organize that can be beautiful. So just creating some kind of experience, finding ways to add touches to your laundry space that are gonna just bring you joy. I am all about romanticizing the ordinary. Why should we have to dread this task that we pretty much have to do on a daily basis as a wife and a homemaker? So I encourage you, um, think outside the box, get creative with how you decorate, organize, and put together your laundry room, and it will be a sanctuary in no time. If you feel like you have tons and tons of laundry and it is just never ending, I would encourage you to really take a good hard look at your inventory and consider decluttering your wardrobe. I am somebody that's more of a minimalist when it comes to my seasonal wardrobe. In the summer, I have a handful of things that I just rotate through, and in the winter, I basically do the same thing. Like I said, that has come with the territory of living in an old house with little to no storage and closet space, but wow, when I tell you simplifying your wardrobe, oh, it is life-giving. It is so life-giving. You don't have to think in the morning when you're putting on your mom uniform for the day. <laughs> you don't have to do massive loads of laundry. When I wash my laundry for the week, it's not that big of a load because I'm not, um, I don't know, I'm not letting it pile up and pile up and pile up. I have to do laundry on a weekly basis because I don't have a lot of inventory. So I gotta keep it clean and rotate it through. Um, so that's something you definitely wanna consider when looking at your laundry. If you can go a month without washing your clothes, you might wanna consider <laughs> decluttering a little bit, simplifying, and really only keeping pieces that are still nice, that still look clean and fresh, and that you love. Decluttering and keeping my kids wardrobes really small is even more helpful than mine. So um, just an encouragement to you to maybe consider that. So the laundry room is a utility space for the entire family. This is not my room, <laughs> it is everyone's room. We all take part in laundry in this house. And so just like a bathroom, we wanna be respectful of a common space and we don't let laundry pile up in this room. And that way this room is always clean, it's always ready to use and it just is a less chaotic, more peaceful experience. And so that's another point I have, is keep all of your hampers, keep your laundry out of the laundry room unless it's getting done right then and there. So everyone in our house has a hamper, although my boys share a hamper because I combine their laundry at this stage because they're basically the same size. And so they have one hamper. My daughter has a hamper, I have a hamper, my husband has a hamper. Generally speaking, we'll get into the routine in a minute. Everybody has a set day. And the day before their set day, I have to remind them. I especially have to remind the boys, but Emma is getting better. She kind of has gotten in the routine of the night before her laundry day. She'll bring the clothes down to me and I'll put them in the wash, get them ready for her for the next day. And then she has gotten to the age where she can start the load, wash it, fold it, put it away herself, which is great. Um, I think there's a lot of value in teaching young kids to do laundry. 
they're gonna have to do it for the rest of their lives. <laughs> their spouses will thank me someday. Hopefully my sons especially, their wives will thank me um, that I th taught them how to do laundry young and do it right and do it well. That is my goal as a mom of young boys. I want to teach them homemaking tasks so that they can be, really be a partner in their marriage someday. But that's a whole nother topic. <laughs> um, so yeah, the kids will bring their clothes down the night before their laundry day. Um, I'll bring mine down, Kayla will bring his down. And their hampers can stay in here while the wash is being washed, then it gets transitioned to the dryer. And then it is so nice sorting laundry by person because it comes out of the dryer, it goes in their hamper, and it goes back upstairs and it's everyone's own responsibility to put their clothes away. The boys are still really young. Of course, I help them a little bit here and there. I help them hang if they can't reach or um, help them fold a little bit. I'm trying to just do it alongside them in hopes that when they're ready, it'll take over and they'll they'll get it. And, you know, the wheel will keep spinning. But anyway, that was a lengthy explanation, but all of that to say, don't keep laundry stagnant in your laundry room. So I've talked about creating little habits, I've talked about creating a space that you love and that you enjoy, that you can have peace in, like a sanctuary for your laundry room. We've talked about decluttering and simplifying our inventory of clothing, and then that we do not keep stagnant laundry in the laundry room. The laundry in here is getting done that day. <laughs> but the last thing I want to talk to you about today is our actual laundry routine and what it looks like. It is simple, it is straightforward, and I sort of have tweaked it to where I am doing more of that habit stacking we talked about in the first point. But um, on Mondays, I wash all of the bedding, which is really convenient because on Mondays, I also clean the bedrooms. So it's an automatic, I don't forget, because I'm upstairs, I'm dusting, I'm cleaning the bedrooms, I strip the bedding one bedroom at a time, and I wash everyone's bed sheets for the week. That's actually my heavier laundry day because that takes me longer than any of the other days because I'm doing four loads of laundry. Uh, but it, it's easy because it's just bedding. <laughs> and then on Tuesdays, I wash all of the towels. So that includes the bath towels, the beach towels, because now it's full season. And then I wash a load of those cleaning rags that I talked about earlier and just get all the towels fresh. It coincides with my cleaning routine because on Tuesdays I clean the bathrooms. So again, if you can kind of have it stack in that way, it helps me remember, okay, I'm cleaning the bathrooms. I need to pull all the hand towels. I need to pull the towels from the hamper, get them all in the wash so that everything can feel clean and fresh all um, at the same time. Wednesdays, I have it marked as hers. So the ladies of the house do their laundry on Wednesdays. I try to wash mine first. I get them done early in the morning because I already put them in the wash the night before. I get that going. Now that it's summer and life is a little more relaxed, it's been a lot easier, but um, I do my laundry on Wednesday and Emma does her her laundry on Wednesday as well. And she prefers to do it more in the afternoon or evening um, along with her chores. So she gets that done at her own leisurely pace. And as long as it's done, we're good. <laughs> and she's been getting really good at it. Um, it's amazing how even watching her get into a routine has been just such a cool experience. And then on Thursdays, that day is for Caleb. He tends to have a little bit more laundry um, than I do. So he has his own day <laughs> and that's because he's washing like work polos and work clothes and then his leisurely clothes when he gets home, pajamas. He just, he changes twice in a day, whereas I don't in this season of life. So he has a little bit more laundry and a little bit more of special care needs with steaming and ironing and that kind of stuff. So he does his own laundry on Thursdays and then on Fridays, the boys, um, I do their laundry or at least they are starting to help. They're getting old enough that they can bring the clothes down and they um, I have front loaders so they can put the clothes in, but I still pour the detergent and get it going. Um, but they also help put away clothes. So Fridays, 
are the boys so I have two sons and then Saturday and Sunday is really just catch-up days so if I missed a day if Emma missed her day whatever um, you can catch up on Saturday we try not to do any laundry on Sundays um, but if we have to catch up we're not super legalistic about it or anything um, but anyway that's our routine that has been working phenomenally for us as a family it feels like we're all taking part and it feels like a weight has been lifted off of me now that my kids are getting a little bit older and it's not so chaotic and laundry can really just be this effective productive thing in our household. So if you are a mama with little babies, toddlers, I just want to encourage you, it does get easier. I promise. <laughs> well friends, that's all I have for you today. My goal was really to just show you my laundry room, talk about a few um, key things and routines that have changed the way that I do laundry. So I hope that it was an encouragement and an inspiration to you. And I just want to encourage you, if you're in a season of being overwhelmed by laundry and your laundry is up to your eyeballs, that is okay. Life happens, I have been there, and you really just have to find what works for you. What works for me and my family may not work for your family. So trial and error it. I hope that some of these ideas sparked some inspiration and encouragement for you. You'll have to let me know down in the comments. So many of you that watch my videos are just so wise. You're amazing homemakers. And I always get a ton of wisdom from you in the comments. If you have a laundry tip that has been life-changing for you, leave it down in the comment section. We can all read through them, share them, share ideas. Um, this is something that could really be a community effort. I would love to hear from you guys. And be sure to check out Timu. Download the app shop the items down in the description below and until next time guys i hope you have a wonderful day and week ahead and i'll see you really soon in the next one bye